What's going on out there, YouTube? That's right, we got something cool from Buck in the shop. <clears throat> I know, they're starting to make kind of a regular appearance. But the neat part about this guy, it's a Walmart exclusive. So stay tuned right after we roll that intro, and we're going to get into that guy. Alright guys, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Now, for all you really, really cool guys out there who have yet to subscribe to me, go ahead and look down here and about this side in just a moment or two, depending what platform you're looking on. You should see our company watermark sitting right there. Go ahead and hover over that. That should bring you right to subscribe. It'd make me feel really, really good inside if you go ahead and do that for me. Now, as you saw by that intro, today we're going to take a look at a buck inertia. Now, the inertias have been out for a little while, okay? And as you saw by that long little numbers on the back, anything that you're going to find that ends like this, the WM, that means it's Walmart exclusive only. Now, what's exclusive about this, honestly, is just the scales. That's it. That's the only way... I can put it. It's just the scales. And that's honestly what attracted me to it. I really like that rifle stock um, pattern right up through here when I saw it in the display case. As you can clearly see, it is stone washed. All right. And I love the fact it's a flipper open. The black and that silver, stone washed silver look, I just thought it was beautiful. So I had to bring it to the channel. Thought it was freaking awesome. But all right. <clears throat> now, enough of that. Let's go play with the fun stuff. Now, it says it's got an overall length of 7.75 inches. Closed, it's 4.5. And the blade is 3.2 inches. Now, it says it's 4.11 ounces. And I said this in another video. And guess what? I got one finally. So, let's turn this little bad boy on. And let's check the weight. I know, something kind of new for the channel, right? I don't know if you can see that too well, but... Okay. Well, it says it's 4.11 on <laughs> every website that I can find. That's telling me, and I don't know if you can see that too well. So hang on as I move this camera. That's telling me 3.89. So, yeah, there we go with that. Let's try this. Let's see as close as we can get. Nope, no matter which way I turn it, it's still 3.89. All right, so let's move that out. But, yeah, I told you I was going to bring one of these. I finally got one. It was kind of cool. But, yeah, finally, now we can check weights. I like it. Let's see if the manufacturers are right or wrong. <clears throat> now, as you can see, it does have a plain edge. It's got the drop point style, which I personally really, really freaking love. As I said previously, it does have the stonewash finish, which between that and the satin, those are seriously hands down my two favorite. It just They really, really are. I They're kind of neck and neck for me, but there we go. Now, the blade steel is Buck's usual 420 high carbon. Now, on the inside here, I hope you can see, we do have a stainless steel frame. Now, the scales are just glass-filled nylon. No big deal. But like I said, the scales itself are exclusive to Walmart. As you saw, it does have a liner lock. Now, what I like is it's got like that little thumb hole. But it really doesn't work too well with the spring assist open. Well, there we go. Kiss me in my real backside, huh? Sweet. Wasn't working before, now it's working fine. Or you have a flipper open. So you got two ways. Now I'm going to get to this guy here in a moment. That's the only thing I seriously kind of don't like on this blade. You do have a one-position pocket clip, and it's only tip up. 
Buck and everything I can find says this one is made in the USA. So I'm assuming that's why USA is there. Not a made in the USA over here like sometimes I've seen before. Now, this guy right here, before we get to the really cool fun stuff, it's a safety mechanism. If you depress that forward, you cannot open the blade. So there's a forward assisted safety. When you move it back, it rockets up and you can move that to a closed position. That way when you're working, you're not bumping into something down here. When you depress the liner lock to close it, the safety just moves and re you can re-engage it. All right, now let's do some fun stuff. <sighs> okay guys, as we usually do, just paper test. And that's seriously fresh out of the box. Whoops, of course. But there we go, two quick cuts, no big deal going through paper. Paracord! And you can see, you know, seven strands, not that really bad, you know, Walmart really crap, horrible core. Simple pull. Woohoo, right through. Slice. No problem. Now let's see if we can actually get it to go for. I know I don't do that a lot. Maybe I should. I don't know. I'm usually okay with two, but... All right. Four. No problem. And the ever-popular ratchet strap. Whoo! Sweet! All right. All those went through no issues. And like I try to do. I don't see where it picked up anything on the blade itself. So that came pretty damn sharp right out of the box and pretty well stropped. So I'm pretty much good with that. <clears throat> now, as we usually do, all right, I took a look at the cost on Amazon, Walmart, where I got it, Buck, and Blade HQ. Now, most of these prices that I'm going to give you, except for the one at Walmart, are for just usual Buck inertias. And they all kind of fall within, you know, 10 bucks of each other, which I found kind of fascinating. So over on Amazon, a buck inertia is going to run you $44.99. This guy right here at your Walmart, where you can only get these scales, is $38.88 before taxes at my local Walmart. It ended up being like $42.24, I think, or something along those lines. Over on Buck's website... A buck inertia is going to run you 60 bucks, and on Blade HQ, $59.95. The only place I could find a rating for it is on Amazon, 4.7 stars out of 5. Nowhere else is it rated. Now here comes the fun part, guys. You know, I want to know what you out there YouTube think. I want your questions, comments, love, hatred, everything down below in the comments box. I also want to know, just by this quick little tabletop look, do you think it's noise or an F-bomb? Noise or an F-bomb? You know, I want to know. You guys know I will get back to you on everything. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty impressive for its price. I've been carrying it recently, and I'm kind of liking it. <clears throat> but with all that fun stuff being said... Hey, man, if you're a first-time viewer of my channel, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and taking a look at this video. I know there's so many options out there on YouTube, and I'm flattered you took a look at one of mine. Now, for you really cool kids out there who didn't do it already, here's your second chance. You're going to see the channel logo popping up right down there. Go ahead and click on that, and that's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, please click on the bell icon that's right next to it. It's going to notify you every single time I upload a brand new video. Now, speaking of videos, y'all know what I'm going to say. Two are going to be popping up. Where? That's right. Over there. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My very quick tabletop look at the Buck Inertia, and I'm not going to go into the 
0293 Bravo Kilo Sierra 4 Whiskey Mike Dash Bravo. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great day today.